If you're of a certain age, you probably remember what we used to call sit-ins, typically a form of non-violent protest. And now, remember how you used to protest in math class? Okay, maybe that was just me. Anyway, if you combine the two and change all that protesting to teaching math, you end up with a math teach-in. The probability of finding a consonant is also is 50%, which is also the same probability of finding a vowel. Today is our sixth annual math teaching for our eighth grade students. It's an opportunity where our eighth grade students take the content that they've learned in eighth grade mathematics and apply it through instructing their parents, family members, and friends who come to the middle school village to learn about math. And it's their opportunity to show, basically show what they know. This is my 11th year teaching at the Mary P. Thomas Charter School. I found that um, toward the end of the year, the children were tired. But we still had to prepare for the high stakes test, the GEPR as it was called back then. Uh, so I came up with the idea of let's have a math teaching so that the children and the staff could all get together and work and prepare for the high stakes test in a serious way and then have a nice event where the families could come together and watch their children teach math concepts. You will do one four times 90. Which is the radius, what can I say? Are you taking notes? I'm a, I'm a review. I heard you never know something as well until you teach it. Like you know your math. I was watching you do your math with the area problem. You know your stuff. I would like to quote you. You never really know something until you teach it because it is a little difficult teaching them because you may know it, but it's hard to convey your message. There's a lot of big vocabulary words within the math that I'm teaching, which is ge geometry and measurement and probability. It's a great advantage to have the parents come in for the teaching because the parents get to see what their children are learning. And then they're very impressed when they see their student who probably doesn't talk as much, they may be very shy at home. But once they go before class, they have the ability to show others how to do the problem. It's very impressive to the parents to see what their kids are learning, not only see it on paper, but to see their kids present them. What motivated you to come here tonight? Is there anything? I, found, I really was interested to see what the kids had learned this year and see how much they can remember and how well they have done. And I'm really proud of them. They have accomplished a lot this year. We always connect the math concepts to real world situations. We try to make sure we link it to their world so that they understand that math is not something that is just talked about and taught in a classroom, but it extends outside of the classroom into every other area. Uh, social studies, science, um, language arts, and into their world. So they, they learn quite a bit over the school year. I made these. The entire village, meaning our school, comes together. It's not a paid activity. There's a lot of volunteer hours that go into it, uh, from the art teacher making certain um, presentations that you'll see in the room, to the kids coming together to uh, put the room together and organize the room to getting the kids dinner and making sure everything is set so that when the parents get here the kids are ready to really show them what they know. What are these triangles? Are they like, like, are they congruent, similar? Please give her a sticker. You congruent triangles. Three of these triangles are congruent. Not only did we find out where they're congruent, we found out that the answer was 8.2. So give it up for you guys. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. As in any job, evaluation is an important part of knowing what's working and what needs improvement. So the parents are asked to grade this evening's teachers. We were scored, and the highest score was actually a 60, and we got 49s, 57s. We actually got a 60 from a parent. And we think that we actually did really good. We would like to have all of tonight's students to return back to the middle of the room. Toward the end of this evening's program, everyone gathers for an awards ceremony, recognizing all the hard work these students have put into their academic achievement, not just tonight, but all year long. My main goal is for the children to establish a deep sense of love for mathematics. Also, I like for them to um, feel really, really good about themselves, that they were successful at this event, and kind of take that good self-esteem and carry it forward.